These three robots are undergoing testing. We're trying to decide which one drives the straightest, which one stops at the correct distance, and which one has room to add accessories. My name's Preston with Spratronics Learning Lab, and this week we're starting off a new series all about First Lego League Robot Game. This is a great video series to help you if you have built robots before for First Lego League, or if you want to go into the upcoming First Lego League season with some great ideas of how to be an awesome teammate. We are going to be testing three driving bases today. You might recognize this one from last week. This one was our ping pong ball launching robot. We're going to take off the attachment and test this as our very first base. Here's our first driving base to test. This is a custom built robot that we tried to make as simple as possible. You'll see on the bottom, it's just two small motors held together with this purple rectangle. We've attached two medium wheels and a track ball on the very front. If you wanna see how to build this robot, you can check out our ping pong ball launcher build, or you can come up with something very similar. All of our robots we're building today are going to have some things in common. They're all gonna be using one Spike Prime hub and this hub is the brains of your robot. We're also gonna be using two of these medium-sized motors. And finally, we're gonna be using some regular-sized wheels. All three robots we're testing today, we're gonna to be testing under three scenarios. First, does it drive straight? Second, will it stop at the correct distance? And third, is there room to add accessories or tools to complete our robot missions? We're gonna work on turning and changing the direction of the robot next week. For this one, we only want to dive into, does it drive straight? How can we make a robot drive straighter? As well as, is there room for accessories? And how do we measure how far a robot goes? When you're doing the first LEGO League robot game, being able to tell your robot how far to move is a crucial skill to maximize your score. When you're first coding your robot, I recommend always setting your movement motors, setting your movement speed, and then go ahead and put in a move forward one rotation. We're gonna run a test real quick just to make sure that when we tell our robot to drive forward, it actually drives forward. And if it doesn't do that, we're going to fix it. So I'm telling my robot to drive forward one rotation and it went the wrong way. Easy fix for this. I click on set movement motors and I just switch the order they go in. So now mine says C plus D. I send that to my robot. I tell it to drive forward for one rotation after switching those movement motors and it should drive that way. Excellent. We've coded this robot. Let's just see, does it move straight? We moved forward one rotation, and that's not enough room to see how straight this robot turns. So what I'd like to do is I'm going to start all my robots back here against the box, and I have a ruler. I'm going to measure out about two feet directly out from this box. So we've got one foot here, two feet right here, Let's actually go a third foot, 36 inches, about 90 centimeters, and I'm going to put a post-it note right here where this robot should stop. So this is three feet away or about 90 centimeters. I'm gonna use this post-it note so that my robot doesn't move anything and that ending location stays the same. We'll put our robot up against the base and I'm using these cords to kind of tell how close it is. Let's tell it to drive 90 centimeters and that should stop right at the line. Great, this one looks like it went just a little bit too far and I might be off with my math by saying that that should go 90 centimeters. I know I set it to 36 inches, so I'm gonna change my distance to 36 inches. 
and I'm going to push play. Great. I'm ready to do my tests now. And for each of our tests, we're programming this robot to drive forward 36 inches. And then I went ahead and told mine to go backwards 36 inches. Over time, we should see if this robot is out of whack because it'll get farther and farther away from its starting point the more it goes. Let's test these three robot designs now that we know how to use the pink movement block motors and are telling it to drive forward and then backwards. This first robot is based on the delivery bot. It's got a nice big platform for attaching tools and accessories and the motors are held together on top and on bottom. Let's see how straight this robot drives. As this robot drives forward, I'm noticing a little bit of a shimmy. It seems to wiggle left and right, left and right, just a little bit as it drives. I'm noticing that as it goes forward and backwards, it's slowly moving over to the edge of the box. Now the tire that was on my Spike Prime box is completely blocked by my robot. I'd say this one is a pretty good base for accessories, but not so great for driving in a straight line. Our next robot is based on the Rhino bot. You can find the directions for this by clicking on build and scrolling down to Rhino. There's not a whole lot of spots to attach sensors or tools onto this robot, but it's really simple and quick to build. When we watch this robot drive forward, we kind of see the wheels are just a hair angled, but it seems like the robot is fairly consistent in driving straight for three feet. I notice that it doesn't move too much against the box as it goes forward and backwards. And that surprises me because the motors are only attached together on one side. Our third and final robot we're testing today is based on driving base one from the building instructions. I stopped early. I didn't add the large motor to this build, but you'll see there's a nice big open space where we could include a third motor on this build. There's also two black beams sticking straight out. They're gonna be great attachment points for additional sensors or tools. As we watch driving base one drive forward and backwards three feet at a time, I'm noticing that the motors are securely held in place on top and on bottom, but that still doesn't stop a little bit of wiggling happening as our motor drives. This could be caused by a buildup on dirt on one of those wheels, or it could just be that this isn't the perfect driving base for our first LEGO League challenge. But overall, this base does a pretty good job. The final thing I wanna leave you with are three ways to make your driving robot a little bit more sturdy, or drive straighter, or at the very least, be more consistent. First thing, you wanna to try to build a sturdy driving base that's symmetrical on both sides. If you put a lot of attachments on just one side of your robot, it's going to start to veer in that direction where there's more weight. We always try to build our driving bases for first LEGO League robot game to be symmetrical as much as they can be. The next thing you can do is test your motors and make sure your motors are spinning at a similar speed. To test this, you can open up the heart program on your hub, plug in motors directly across from each other, press go on the heart program, and then press the arrow. And your motors should spin at about the same speed. If you notice they're spinning way far off, you might want to try to replace one of your motors or give it a good cleaning with some WD-40 contact cleaner, electrical contact cleaner. These motors spin at the same speed, so I know they're good. And then finally, the third thing, you can clean your wheels. Just get a damp rag and just very gently rub your wheel against that rag and it'll take off a lot of the dust and dirt if you've been using your wheels in a classroom. We use Expo Marker all the time to make lines for our robots to follow and so we end up with lots of Expo Marker on the end of our wheels. If you just take a little bit of water, you can wipe those off and that will actually make your robot drive a little bit straighter so that the wheels have a fairly even amount of grime and grit onto the bottom of them. I hope this video has helped you to come up with a good idea for your very first lesson with First Lego League Robotics, as well as come up with some good ideas for a driving base. I have some other videos 
that are all about driving and measuring circumference and distance, as well as some that go more in depth on turning. Next week, we're gonna make a quick video all about turning precisely and using my blocks so you can have a consistent First Lego League robot build. Thank you.